Okay, this is our update from the uh, Six Nations Elected Council for May 8, 2015. I want to start off with the thermal treatment plant. After careful consideration, the Six Nations Elected Council passed a motion to immediately end all negotiations with Kearns International. This is the company Council had been dealing with to get a waste disintegrator operating in our territory. Council had begun discussions with Kearns International in June 2012 in an effort to use the company's waste disintegration technology to divert waste, to divert waste from the overcapacity landfill at Six Nations. Council has given Kearns written notice of terminations of its contract with them. We are now looking at other options and will be developing a short-term plan for the landfill and also a 20-year waste management plan. As everyone knows, we did have an emergency at the landfill when a fire started in the area of the hazardous waste material last week. We did declare an emergency last weekend and that declaration was terminated on Monday, May 4th. We were also forced to close the landfill and set up a temporary landfill site at Weekend Electronics. And we want to thank the owners of Weekend Electronics for stepping up and assisting the community during this emergency. The landfill did reopen on Wednesday, May 6th, and we encourage people not to disturb the site of the hazardous waste material as the cleanup is still underway. The recycling bins will also be moved to another location. The emergency con control group was in place over the past weekend and uh, spent the weekend on standby and in meetings and I want to thank the members of that group for their service, their dedication and their commitment to the community. Members of that group are Fire Chief Matt Miller, Vince Martin, Crystal Farmer and all of the fire services personnel. Deputy Chief, Police Chief Rocky Smith and all of the Six Nations Police Service Leah Williams from the Six Nations Ambulance Service and all of the paramedics. Dale Bombery, Senior Administrative Officer. Mike Montour, Director of Public Works. Fran Henry, Secretary. Chelsea Johnson, Communications Officer. Shirley Bombery, Human Services. Lori Davis Hill, Director of Health Services. Arla Sky, Director of Social Services. Deb Jonathan from Public Health. Gary Phillips, Director of Finance, and other health services and social services staff that made themselves available to ensure safety for our community. And I want to give them an acknowledgement because I think it's important for the community to know that we've got a lot of dedicated and committed staff uh, here at Six Nations Elected Council who are willing to give up their weekend and their time to, uh, to assist the community. I also have some updates from Public Works. The Select Six Nations Elected Council sponsors an annual bulky item pickup where the Six Nations Roads Department will pick up bag debris weighing no more than 40 pounds each, as well as stoves and fridges. The Roads Department will be collecting bag, deb de bag debris beginning at Town Line and proceeding north to Highway 54 on Monday, May 11th and Tuesday, May 12th. The Roads Department will be taking the same route to pick up stoves and fridges only on Wednesday, May 13th and Thursday, May 14th. Everything must be at the road by 7 a.m. There will be no return trips if items are not out by this time on these dates. The Six Nations landfill site hours are from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Tuesday to Saturday. There are also blue bins available at the Public Works Office located at 1953 Fourth Line. There is a limit of four free blue boxes per household and any additional blue boxes will cost $10. To register for curbside recycling pickup, please call AW First Nations Recycling at 289-808-2685. And again, I want to encourage everyone to please in do recycling as much as you can because it's very important that uh, we try to get as much recycling in there as we can. Um, once the hazardous waste site cleaned up, there will also be a, a household hazardous waste event at the Six Nations landfill site from 12 to 4 on Saturday, May 16th. You can bring your, uh, all your hazardous waste there, except for explosive, PCB, pathological and radioactive waste, and also please do not bring any ammunition. In light of the recent community emergency, we ask that all community members only bring their hazardous wastes during these, ha during these household hazardous waste events, which will be held every May and November beginning this year. There will no longer be a household hazardous waste stockpile allowed at the Six Nations landfill site. There are nearby facilities that accept certain household hazardous waste. And for more information on these facilities, please contact www.makethedrop.ca or watch for the upcoming Household Hazardous Waste newsletter that will be released.